Damn, son, where'd you find this? What a thing to be a witness to the sunshine What a dream to just be walking on the ground what a time to live among the ashen remnants of a love that came before. I'm still looking for that now. It took centuries to build these twisted cities. Seconds to reduce them down to dust. All the tour guide could say was take your pictures, folks, it's late. Try your best, please, to remember what you've done. Feel for cash. Then the band shell got its band sound like an all in Japan. Blew all my quarters trying to get that feeling back. Any sucker can turn boredom into violence. A sociopath riding on a bus. And his irises are black from those novelty contacts. He looks around. Connor Oberst, live on KEXP. That was incredible. 
You're too kind. Thank you so much. You got another one? Yeah, let's do, uh, this one's called Zigzagging Toward the Light. With a heart that doesn't stop My mind's a weather vane Spins around just like a clock Knows what the winds of fortune bring In the season of the witch Home is a perjury A parlor trick An urban myth Oh, how the circumstances change This world is smoking steel And compromise and need of True love, it hides like city stars Nothing to gaze upon Or contemplate how near or far If it comes, it comes quite unknown It's a momentary glance Lit up by sun or moon By bonfire or ambulance van Oh, how the circumstances change Feels unmistakable With no idea from where it came But you will know it when it's gone Zigzagging through the night Half dead you sing Your founder song Dead you sing, you found a song Half dead you sing, half dead you sing Sing forth a rounder This world is never dead It's true that shadows tell the time On sunny afternoons Crowded sidewalks, passers-by I'm in a queue that stretches out As far as the eye can see It forms a figure eight And goes on for eternity Then how the circumstances change We fly by interstate Across a purple mountain range and find a place to come undone oh. We zigzagging towards you now And I sing out back my boundless song take this coat off it got a little hotter than i planned in here it's a nice looking coat though so i'm glad we got you in it for a couple of songs it's connor oberst live on kexp songs from the fabulous new album upside down mountain and again thank you so much for making time to stop by and with your whole band today yeah it's our pleasure We've had you in studio, and I've seen you perform as a solo artist many times and with one other musician. Those intimate shows are always wonderful and so engaging. But when you're playing with a big band, you just seem to come alive, and uh, you're quite the showman. And no matter what you're singing about, you just seem so happy. Well, I definitely love playing with, with, with these, these boys in particular. But yeah, I, I like to play with a band probably more than... By myself, I did a tour a couple years ago 
that was pretty much by myself and it was one of the harder tours because you know you feel kind of you feel kind of lonely up there just the old guitar so it's nice to have a band well let's meet this band because uh you've got some pretty heavy hitters out on tour with you right now yep this is my main man jonathan wilson playing guitar and he also produced my new record he's right here hi hi <laughs> i have to tell you jonathan wilson is our main man here at kexp oh. as well we affectionately call him jay willie oh, and nice. uh <laughs> when you loaded your gear in earlier today yeah. and the whole staff has been seeing it in the hall all day oh that's amazing been pretty much beside ourselves oh great to be back it's great to have you all here welcome um should i keep going around yes okay so this is this is nate walcott back there on the keys he's my uh he's he plays in my other band bright eyes he's very handsome this is Cully Symington on the drum on the drum kit. Drummer extraordinaire has played in many bands, Cursive, Afghan Wigs, Okerville River, etc. Mm-hmm. This is Miwi La Lupa on the bass guitar from Brooklyn, New York. Mm-hmm. He's played in many a great band too. He's also a fantastic horn player. Mm-hmm. Plays in Red Barat, etc. And he made a great uh, a great album under his own name this last year. One of my favorite albums. Last year, we got to give you all a copy of that. We'd love that. And then right here is Dan Horn on the pedal steel. Fan favorite, my favorite. Yeah, we could spend 20 minutes yeah. on each band member here if we had enough time yeah. today. Yeah. You, you're not fooling around with this crew. Yeah, they're they're pro professional. You said that you guys have been out on tour now for about a month together. Yeah. So you've really locked into the sound. But I'm guessing pretty much the first re- rehearsal probably sounded this good. It was, yeah, it was. They they make it they make it look easy. So yeah, they you know, showed up and I think we had maybe three days of rehearsal before the first show. And you know, they always kinda the first few shows you kinda get your footing and then it's been I'd say pretty smooth sailing since then. I've loved loved hearing those first two songs from the new album, Upside Down Mountain, and you mentioned that you and Jonathan worked on that together and I understand you uh made it in a few different cities. Can you tell me how that kinda got started? Yep. Uh, We did a lot of the beginning uh, sessions over in L.A., at Jonathan's place in L.A., and and then took some tracks back to Omaha, where I have a studio with with Mike from Bright Eyes, and uh, worked on it there. And then we finished up in Nashville at this uh, really crazy, amazing studio called Blackbird, and that's where we mixed the album and did the final finishing touches. And I understand Clara and Johanna from First Aid yeah, Kit are, absolutely. they're actually on like, a lot of songs. Yep, they are. Actually, the tour I was talking about before, where I was pretty much solo, they were playing those shows with me and they sang on a lot of my songs every night. And that was a couple years ago. And that's what planted the seed for me. Like, wow, I, I got to get them all over my next record because they have like the most beautiful voices and just, yeah, they're insanely talented ladies. Well, you've been working with them off and on mostly on for the last few years yeah they they've made their last two records with mike mogus in, in our studio and nate was yep and nate on the been, lines were yep he's been very involved with that too and so yeah it's been great just uh they're yeah they're incredible i know that i well i read i don't know i read somewhere that you just went to nashville to mix the record and jonathan you might be the person to answer this question but that there were so many fun toys in the studio that you actually ended up recording some stuff when you thought you were just going to be there to put the yeah, finishing things yeah on we, it. we ended up to definitely to uh to uh take advantage of the extremely like extensive uh, uh collection that they have there of the it's pretty it's m- like, yeah it's they, pretty uh incredible there you know there was like a, there's a race among like gearheads to get all the good old vintage, you know, gear on the planet. Gear on the right. planet, and, and this guy kind of won the contest, and <laughs> bought it all for sure. So yeah, it's all down there if you're looking yeah. for it. How what long? was our favorite? The Pou- Poublasson? Yeah, that's all over the album. That's a piece of uh, it's an uh, it's a piece of gear. It's sort of like a doubler, like a fast uh, 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 delay that's made in uh, 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 France. It's a kind of an odd. Like piece and vintagey, yeah, and, and it uh, and it uh, uh, speaks to you in uh, a French, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like bonjour. on the screen. <laughs> yeah. you turn it on, so that's on the album. How could you uh, not want to use that? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to make the record? Well, I'd say all in total, if you really start from the top, I mean, like nine months, I guess. But I mean, we weren't working that whole time, obviously. But from that was the time span. Yeah, 
Nice. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. Upside Down Mountain. And you have another song? You're going to play yeah, something? Yeah, we're going to try this one. And this is going to feature uh, Miwi on, the, on the, some vocals with me. But uh, it's called Double Life. And we're going to switch this guitar. Live on KEXP. Love it. Cool. So we're thinking about trying an old one, if that's all right. That is more than all right. Try this. This one is about driving around in circles. It's called We Are Nowhere and It's Now. One, two, three. One, two. Taste of wine while 
would you drink it till you're blind? If you swear that there's no truth, man, who cares? How come you say it like you're right? Why are you scared to dream of God? If it's salvation that you want Some stars that clear They've been dead for years But the idea just lived on Like all wheels that spin around As we float above the ground All day it seems We've been in Lost in thought as I walk the block to my favorite neon sign where the waitress looks so concerned, but she never says a word. We turn the jukebox on and we hum along, and I smile right back at her. Until my friend, she comes after work When all the speeches start to slur She says these bars are filled with things that kill But now you're probably You should have learned Did you forget that yellow bird? And how could you forget your yellow bird? Small silver wreath and pinned it onto me. Said this one's gonna bring you love. And I know that's not true, but I keep it for good love. Connor Oberst live on KEXP. Your songs give us so much to think about. Uh, your album Upside Down Mountain came out over four months ago. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. There's so much to chew on. And you've said before in interviews many times that language is a big part of why you make music, why you continue to do it after so long. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, yeah. I think, you know, my, my favorite... Um I guess I shouldn't say my favorite kind of music, but the kind of music that I make, I think, is that sort of fusion of, you know, melody and poetry, and that's kind of the main point of it all, you know? And so when I'm making a song, I think they're I think they're equal equally important, both the melody and the and the lyrics. A lot of times people 
ask me if I write the words first, but I actually don't. I, I usually write the melody first. Mm -hmm. And then I, once I can have that kind of, like I'll have some stand-in kind of dummy lyrics. And then once, I, once the melody is sort of solidified in my mind, then I can go about my business and just sing it to myself quietly and sort of fill in the words over a period of days or weeks or whatever. So, yeah, I think that, you know, you can't have one without the other. But, yeah, I, th I, I, I try to work hard on the, on the words and make them, make them count. There's a lot of words. You get your bang for your buck on a Connor Elbers <laughs> record, that's for sure. It's not just baby, baby, and the refrain, mama, mama. And baby, baby. <laughs> But um, I, I, I love it. You know, you've been making music since you were in your early teens and much of it in the public. So we've watched you grow. You've matured as an artist. You've got three decades of life experience to draw from. One of the things I've noticed being a fan from the early days is that you constantly seem to be moving forward. And, of course, every artist is going to say this, that they aren't just trying to write a hit, you know, for commercial play, but you really seem to just be moving on to the next thing yeah. that sparks your I interest. I wish I could write a hit. I don't know how <laughs> to at all, actually. Uh, that's, a, that's, a loot, that's eluded me, but no, I think, um, yeah, usually I'm interested in the next thing. By the time, the, you know, it's still fun, obviously, to play the songs live, but by the time the record comes out, there's usually there's such a delayed quality to it that I'm normally thinking about the next thing that I'll... I'm going to be working on or start working on the next thing because that's just, I don't know, the only way to kind of stay, stay sane. You've you know? ha got such a huge catalog, so many, you know, projects, so many albums with those projects. And as a listener and a fan, we never know what's going to be coming next, which is exciting. Do you have things planned out or is it very spontaneous for you? Um, I mean, there's certain schedule type things that are, you know, like know that I'm going to be getting together with this person or these people to, to work on music and um, yeah as far as like the actual work itself I would say it's 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 pretty usually shoot from the hip you know I don't preconceive too much you know because I mean it's, once you have the songs the way I look at it is like if the songs are good they kind of are sturdy and they can stand on their own and then you can just dress them up in any way you want in the studio or with whatever kind of band and instrumentation you have and so that's kind of my approach. Like I feel like the songs are like simple, like melody, chords, words. But then from there, you know, that's where fun begins. You know, there's all kinds of possibilities. You can take them, all directions you can take them in. So try to go down as many uh, darkened corridors as possible. Well, s well, I was going to say speaking of fun, and then you said darkened corridors. But you seem like you're having a really great time. Are you able to live in the moment? Are you enjoying, enjoying yourself? <laughs> try you know uh no i mean yeah it's, i mean that's kind of can be a personality trait kind of a question but our yeah no we ha we have a lot of fun we i mean it's i'd say a lot of our day is is taken up on tour just trying to like make each other laugh you know and like a lot of a lot of silliness abounds hijinks whatnot so we well, yeah. certainly making us smile today we can't thank you all enough for coming by and you got time for one more song cool i was gonna play this i was gonna let these guys off the hook and play this one on my lonesome but no one move. Everyone say put. <laughs> now you guys can leave if you want. You guys can go if you want. If you want to go, they want to go. Let's let them. Let's let them out. I'll stay. Okay. <laughs> so we're not just like staring. <laughs> yeah, we all say, all of us stare at you while you do this. We'll give you a bit of air. All right, it's just you and me. Here we go. You and me, kid. He's my friend, he's no friend to me Ask him why he'll tell you casually Washed up, bitter, broke and busted Backstabbed everyone he trusted Says he sees what no one else can see I had half his guts I'd want it To chase that fatalistic comet And die young in the dark That's poetry But it was not 
to be No, it was not For me He's always sad But I've never seen him cry When he comes to share He'll apologize Find his car, assess the damage Still drunk, but he likes a challenge Holds on to his mind just like a kite But a good strong wind will keep you honest Fill you with some common knowledge Things when we were young we never tried I figured we had time was such a long life Money clips, alligator shoes Just one more dance, he's in that champagne room Well, she moves like a chocolate fountain Pouring, spilling all around him Makes him wonder what else she could do How bittersweet is love's illusion Feelings that cannot be proven Just trust me, you'll see my aim is true I've done this all for you I suffered long For you So many times he's tried to play it straight He worked and worked and till his body ached But a brand new life will lose its luster Troubles tend to find each other Call it luck or you can call it fate But either way, it's how it happens Not the life that you imagine So just go out with a bang like Hemingway And some will say you're brave And some will say You ain't That was lovely. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's so wonderful to have you here. It's Connor Oberst live on KEXP, the new album, Incredible Upside Down Mountain. It's great to have you here. Thank you again so Thanks, much. Thanks, Cheryl. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?